Welcome back to Tinker Wonderland. Today, I am going to share with you how I made this Halloween countdown calendar. So if you're interested, just sit back, relax, and watch this video. For this project, guys, here are the materials that I'm going to use. Of course, we're going to use this um, board. This is the clipboard that I got from Hobby Lobby, and it will stand up like that. Next, I'm also going to be using this sticker. Wooden dominoes. I, I'm, I will just use two of this, which I already went ahead and stick them together. So here is the wooden dominoes that I'm going to use. I use super glue gel to stick those uh, wooden dominoes together. And then we're going to use this ribbon with the... Uh, bat on it and also this one that has the October 30 purse right there I will also be using a stencil this letters stencil and this um, stencil wheel and I going to use I'm going to use this trick or treat with the ghost there okay Next material that we're going to use is a paint. I have this chalkboard paint for this uh, wooden dominoes. And then I'm also going to be using this uh, apple barrel black paint. Also, this apple barrel orange paint. And then this deco art. Um, this is the succulent color. And it is deco art metallic gold and then we're also gonna i'm also gonna be using this uh, brushes of course i have this uh, paint brush here and then the foam brush and of course i also have to use some of the tools i have a scissor here and this screwdriver to remove this clip here so i can uh, paint the whole board in black so there you go for now that is all the materials that i'm going to use if you uh, guys see some of the materials that i will be using along the way or along um while we're doing this project so just um just jot down it and uh, so you can also uh, follow how i made this um calendar countdown calendar so there you go so let's move on to the next step okay guys so let's move on to the next step to start with i am going to use this uh, sparkling so i'm going to use this sparkling like i said uh, i will also use some other materials along the way on this uh on doing this project so i use this sparkling just to uh, fill the gap on this uh wooden dominoes yes, i want to make it a little smooth so this is what we're gonna use to uh, write down all the numbers for the countdown so just like that and my plan is i'm going to just clip it on here and then put the numbers there so it will give a little character and dimensions in, on this um, on this project or in this uh, calendar so just like that all right so i'm just gonna wait for this to dry and then i will just go ahead and uh, paint this with the chalkboard paint because i have to stay away from the house to do that You might not gonna uh, see how I uh, paint it, but it it's not a big deal though. It doesn't matter. So, as simple as that. And then, now we will, we will move on to our board. 
for this board i'm going to remove the pin or what you call this <laughs> the clip i'm going to you remove the clip first with this uh, with this screwdriver so i can um i can paint the whole board just like that i hope you can see it clear let's just focus here there you go and there you go guys i will just set aside this clip and i will put it back later once uh, the paint is dry and then i will also remove this ribbon i don't like this pink and green <laughs> And it won't fit on our um, on our Halloween theme. Oh, they they use um, they use a hard staple there or a heavy weight um, staple. So I'll be back, guys. So now I got the ribbon out from this board. I I have a little hard time to do it, and it damaged a little our board a little bit but that's okay i can just um fill it with the uh, sparkling again to make it a little smooth but that doesn't matter because it's going to be covered with the uh, ribbon again but this time i'm not going to staple the ribbon there i will just um, glue it Just like that, okay. So it's filled with sparkling. Now I will go ahead and paint it in black. Here is our paint. I'm doing this first, guys, because uh, it will take time for the paint to dry. There you go. I think it will take a little uh, like two coat to do this which is fine it will be easier if I um, sand this uh, board because it the the wood is a little glossy or slippery or whatever you call that uh, it's a little glossy but since I already started this way I will just continue doing this I am not a good painter. <laughs> I don't have a uh, like a um, constant stroke. <laughs> I just do it any way I want to uh, paint it <laughs> without any stroke. Okay, so guys, if you are uh, liking what you see, and if you are new to this channel, I hope you consider to subscribe. Check out our, our uh, content. We have a variety of videos on this channel. Hopefully you will also like our content and you will consider to subscribe. Join our wonderland. So, that's the first coat for now. apologize for that noise guys suddenly my phone just ring <laughs> or act up acting up and here you go i'm just adding more paint and then i'm going to uh we're gonna have to wait for this to dry before we do a second coat so i'm not worried about uh, how rough is the color is but uh my uh, main goal here is to cover that pink color i'm not worried about the white just the pink one i want to cover i want to cover the pink color oops sorry for that i want to make sure that that
pink color is covered. How you guys been doing? What is up to you for now? I hope everybody is doing okay. Hope you're enjoying this video. If you guys want to say something else or you have any suggestion uh, on how I can improve my project, I am open to that. Just uh, put your put your comment down below in the comment section and I'll be happy to read all your comment and I will respond to it as soon as I can. I am always willing to learn from others guys so I am not worried about whatever people will say about my project or about my video any any of my video I am open to any comment any comment is good to uh, so we can be or we can improve ourselves right and whatever we're gonna do we're doing whatever we're doing we can improve also improve from others that's why i am not worried about any comment that i can see on my video that's how we grow got right so right now i am happy with the color let's just wait for this to dry and then i will be back once it's dry and um we'll see if i'm going to if i need a second coat i'm not worried about the side that is white i'm just just want the front so the back is still white and the side is also still white i'm just worried about the front um front side of this uh, clipboard i just want like i said i want to cover that pink and green color there so there you go guys we'll just wait for this to dry and we will move on to the next step i'll be back okay so now the clipboard is uh, the paint on our clipboard is now totally dry and i also again went ahead uh, to paint this uh, i paint this uh, wooden um I forgot what they call what I call it. It's a wooden um dominoes. <laughs> it's a wooden dominoes. I already painted it with a, a chalkboard paint. So it's also also dry now. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put this clip back on our clipboard before I lose the screw. <laughs> Just like that. I'm not gonna change the color of the clip because I like the gold and just I'm, I'm just screwing it back guys okay so I'm just gonna screw this back and then I'm going to move on to the next step, which is working with the stencil. Okay, so there you go, the clip is back. Just gonna put this mini chalkboard here on the clip i'm going to distress the side of this so it will not be uh, totally black so i'm just gonna do that next and then we will work on the stencil on all over the place 
and then we're gonna put the um, gonna put the ribbon and the bow on top of it all right so let's move on to the next step okay so before I move on to the uh, stencil guys I am going to work with this mini chalkboard here what I'm gonna do is that I put a little stitches or some stitches on it I'm just gonna use this broken brush as you can see it doesn't have a brush on it but I'm still keeping it because it's gonna work like doing a stitch you can see it guys so it will work that's why I'm not throwing it yet <laughs> Because I know I can also use it. So I'm just gonna dipping it to the paint and use it like a pen. So I'm making just like a stitches here. So we can have a contrast, contrast of color with the board. If you see hear that noise, that is my kitty playing. And there you go. So I'm just gonna let this dry. Set this aside, and. Now I'm going to work with the with our clipboard and the stencil. I also went ahead and add stitches on this uh, clipboard, guys, as you can see. Now I will move on to our stencil. So I'm just going to use this uh, trick or treat word right there. So I'm just just going to position it here. Oops, sorry for that. So I will position it here. Do it that way. Hopefully this will work nice. And I'm going to use this succulent uh, paint color. My brush gets uh, hard. hard. So I'm just going to dab it. This is the first time that I use a stencil, guys, so bear with me if this is not perfect. <laughs> uh, let me know if you know some tricks on how to make this look good. Is it better to use brush or foam brush? I see some people uh, using foam brush, but I... I uh, I was like I think um foam brush um absorbs too much paint so that's why I don't wanna use it but if that's the one that will work better on this kind of uh, project let me know comment down below I am willing to. Uh, I'll be glad <laughs> there you go I'll be glad to see all your comment or suggestions I love I will I love to learn from others guys so if you have any suggestions just comment down below I'll be happy to read all your comments and I will respond to it as soon as I can And if you are new to this channel, you just watch this video and um, you haven't subscribed yet, please consider to subscribe and click that like button. Give us a thumbs up so other people can easily uh, find our channel. That will also help us to grow our channel. 
and um, also click that bell button next to the subscribe button so you won't be updated to all the video that I am uploading every day yes guys I try to uh, upload videos every day so if you want to check out our content go check it out have I have variety of videos on this channel especially my cats Tinker and Drake I started this channel with Tinker when I uh, when she's um, when I started to train her using uh, walking with the leash so here you go let's reveal so what you think guys I think it turns out good looks good for me trick or treat there you go so with the goals I uh, I decided to just use the use the sticker the ghost sticker so I'm just gonna use that but before that let's move to the letters so I think I better start with letter S right here but before that I'm going to mark it so I can make the letters fit here I will put this mini chalkboard here so I have a margin So that's how it turns out so let's see if I put the letter D here I'm just gonna mark it down I should make it um what you think guys what letters or what the um, paint that I'm gonna use for the letters these two I'm gonna be using white paint for our letters here so I will start with the letter S and then backwards because uh, I am impatient <laughs> when uh, when it comes to waiting the paint to get dry <laughs> so Let's do it this way. I don't want to ruin the trick or treat. So I'm just doing this way that guys. Oops. And it bleeds again. Like I said guys, this is my first time of using stencil. <laughs> so which um, is still I'm still on the learning process so bear with me then I will do this Y You see that clear guys and then the letter A ever since I was in school I'm having a hard time to do a straight line so what I'm always do is I'm doing it crooked <laughs> until now if I can't make a straight line then I will make it crooked just like that <laughs> oops so that is a mess guys 
don't follow me. <laughs> Alright, then the letter D. So that is okay. I can uh, patch that mess with black paint again. Or cover it with black paint. Apologize for my imperfection. <laughs> I can never perfect every project, guys. So, hope you bear with me. And this is the real, real time crafting. <laughs> This is how I work. I don't want to wait that longer. I don't want to wait longer, so I just keep on moving. But if you guys want to make your project neat and smooth, then you have to wait. You have to be patient, which I really don't have. So I'm doing it the hard way. As you can see, even I'm having a hard time doing this here now because I don't wait for the paint to wait uh, to dry. I'm just doing it that way. See, as you can see, everything is messed up. But I will just patch it with paint. That's how I work, guys. You see? I'm just covering it with black paint. And it's back to black again. But with things like this, it's gonna be hard to uh, patch it. But again... There is always method to our madness. <laughs> and there you go. Can you see it clear, guys? Let's clean up this letter S. I'm just gonna con connect all these letters to make it easier to read. Uh, I think that is better. I don't know why this stencil has a gap on each letters. Actually, this type of paint it can uh, dry fast. I'm just not that good in uh, to wait for it. There you go. So now I'm just gonna add this foam sticker. I decided to use some of my uh, foam sticker here and some of my uh, creatures. I have spider, bat, and uh, Scorpio. So I have this spider too. So I'm just gonna add that. Make it fancy. <laughs> I will add this goes here. 
just the same as the as shown in the stencil okay now while i'm waiting for this paint to dry i need to do something so i can wait for that to dry i am going to make the bow so here is the bow or the ribbon i'm gonna make the bow i have this uh, bat ribbon here And again, I am not a professional crafter, so I can do whatever I can. It's up to you guys if you want to do something like this. So I'm just going to, I'm just measuring it here. it like that good enough I don't want to make it longer or or it won't look good okay by the way guys I like I told you before uh, at the beginning of this video i also use the white paint which i don't mention in the beginning so like i said i am going to use some other materials and you will see that along the way which is you see the white paint now i'm making the bow and i think it's good to use a chenille stem on this one so i'm just gonna do it like that and then I will also use this. I'm always having a hard time to uh, find the end of each date. So I'm going to do this. Make a ribbon. Like I said, I am not good in making ribbon. <laughs> so, just gonna do it like that. And then, I'm going to add it here. I'm going to use the chenille stem or this bowl to hold it. Just like that. And I'm going to cut it. There you go. I have a big bow here. What you think, guys? <laughs> like I said, I am not good in making bow. I am not a professional one. Just trying my best. So, maybe like that. What do you think, guys? Do you guys see it? Okay, now the small one. I'm going to make it like this. I don't know, guys. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> you guys teach me how to do to make a bow. A 
so not a girly girly type of girl. <laughs> You see, I am not, I don't know what to do, but I'm doing a tutorial for you <laughs> on how to make this, uh, what you call, uh, how to make this calendar, countdown calendar. So maybe this work, yeah. gonna work like that can you see that guys right I'm just gonna put this uh, I'm just gonna put the chen chenille stem on this one again am I wasting too much bowl or ribbon because I don't want to waste anything <laughs> okay again my arm is not steady. Just leave it like that and like that. Okay, make it longer. And just like that. My Drake is here. Hi, Baba. It's my little boy. You guys love cats. I am obsessed with my cats. They are my light and shining armor. <laughs> so I did it this way, guys. I got my other bow. Just like that. Finally, I made it. <laughs> I don't know why other people is like there's it's so easy for them to make a bow. I don't. <laughs> so I'm just gonna add it to my uh, chenille here. So it's not gonna be so bulky. just gonna add it here just to give it some dimension and then I will glue it on a board just like that oops <laughs> you see guys I told you this is a real time crafting video. <laughs> you can see if you see some flaws that is real, some mistakes that is real, that is me. I admit, I am not a perfect crafter. I am not a professional either. <laughs> I'm just doing what I know and I'm sharing it with you. And I pull it again. <laughs> What am I doing? <laughs> Sorry for that. Sorry, I'm making this uh, video longer. And I'll be back. I will just make this perfect. And I'll be back. And finally, I made it. <laughs> I am back. <laughs> so I made it. So I uh, try to avoid, uh, keep on pulling it. So it will work. And I'm going to put it here with glue gun just like that okay okay so moving on guys since I am impatient to uh, wait for the things to dry 
So instead of using glue gun, I'm going to be using this super glue gel. <laughs> I'm just going to stick this ribbon here on top. Leave it there. Since I am an a Scorpio, I'm going to use this Scorpio on my ribbon right here. How was that? I'm just gonna put this super glue here. Let my Scorpio stick there. Okay, this one, I'm gonna have to be patient with this again. <laughs> there you go. I think that works. I'm gonna add some of this butt on this side. Leave it there to dry. Gloria, have patience. <laughs> I hope it will dry. Okay, I'm just gonna leave it there. I'm gonna add this spider right here, or maybe here. I think here is better. Or here what you think guys I'm gonna put this spider here and maybe this one here and this one here or another but right here <laughs> so I am not gonna able to use some of this well I have to have my cat somewhere right here what you think guys <laughs> I have to have my cat right there oh this will not be a happy Halloween okay I'm going to add this spider here Hope you enjoy watching this video guys give me a like a thumbs up for this video share or and comment down below so I think this one is not doesn't look nice in any place here because it's a gem so I'm just gonna leave that one I'm not gonna use that I think the bat will be enough and maybe I'm just gonna add one more spider on this side another bat here Even with super glue, I'm having a hard time to wait for it to dry. Okay. So, what you think, guys? I'm going to get one more spider. So, I added this another um, spider here. And there's another one here. I have two bats, too. So there you go guys, that is how it turns out. And this is my Halloween countdown calendar. So today is October 15. I also have my chalk here. So today is October 15.
Halloween and um, Halloween is on since uh, on October 31st, right? So we have 16 days. So here is my chalk. I'm just gonna write down 16. Just like that. You guys can see it. Haha. <laughs> there you go. 16 days to trick or treat. That's how it turns out, guys. Alright, that's all. That is our Halloween countdown calendar. Hope you guys like it. guys for watching have a good day and a good night and guys you can also follow me on facebook at gloria custodio that gardener and on instagram at gardener.26 and um, also don't forget so to subscribe on this channel tinker wonderland and also click the bell button next to it so you won't miss any of our video and guys always remember Every day is a blessing, so start your day with a smile. God bless everyone. Thank you all for your love and support since day 